This is a brief introduction on how to use Sublime Earl, which is a plugin for the text editor Sublime Text 2. This plugin allows you to run Erlang tests from within the editor itself. All you need to do is to comply to OTP standards, this is why we have the eBIN and the search directories, but also to rebar conventions, this is why we have the myapp.app.search file into the search directory, and additional tests are under the test directory. This is a very simple module. If you want to run a specific yiunit test for this module, in this case greetings test, we can just put the cursor anywhere inside this function declaration and hit command shift f8. This will run the test. As we can see, we just run the my module greetings test and the test passed. We can make this test fail, for example, by changing the way this works, like with running this, for example. And if I run the test again, by hitting command F8, which will run the last test we did, we now have a failing test, because the expected value doesn't correspond to the one we got. So let me get back to a clean situation. I can still run the last test, command F8. If you prefer having your tests in separate files, let me switch to my module tests. We can run the hello test function again by putting my cursor anywhere inside of this function and hitting command shift F8. As we can see, we are running the my module tests hello test function for target module my module. I can also do the same for the goodbye test. Again, command shift F8. If I want to run both of these tests, I only need to put my cursor outside of any test declaration and hit command shift F8. We see that we run all tests in module my module tests for the target module my module. Two of them passed. If I want to run all tests for my module, so both tests defined in a separate module my module tests here and the one that has been defined in line here, all I need to do is put my cursor outside of any test declaration within my module and then hit command shift F8. This will run all tests for target module mymodule.earl. And as we see, there are three tests that actually passed. If you prefer running common tests, then let me demonstrate this can also be done. So my module suite here has common tests for my module. All I need to do is basically just put my cursor anywhere and hit command shift F8. We can see here that we run tests of common test suite of this module. And we have one test, which is greeting tests, which passed. We can also see that this is the moment where actually we got some modules compiled. This is necessary in order to run these tests. If you want to see the browser results relating to common tests, once you're done running the tests, the only thing you need to do is hit command option F8. This will bring up the browser. As we can see here, these are the last tests that we just run. We can also run dialyzer tests. If I go back to my module, we have some dialyzer specs in here. I put my cursor anywhere and I hit command shift, this time F9. We can see that we are currently running dialyzer tests for mymodule.earl and we pass successfully. Just to show you what happens when we break some tests, like for example with a wrong declaration like this one, I rerun the dialyzer tests just by hitting command F8, which will rerun the last test we did run, command F8. We can see here that we have an invalid type specification for this function. So let me correct that by going back to the normal situation. Finally, this plugin also compiles files into the eBIN directory once these are saved. So we can see here that the, in the eBIN directory, we actually have mymodule.bin file. This is very useful whenever you want to actually interact with the code while you write it. Let me show you this little trick. So if I bring up a terminal and I cd to the eBIN directory and then start an Erlang node, 
we can use this wonderful utility called Reloader from Bob Epolito, which can be found in the MochiWeb repository. So if I start this small utility, then all the modifications that I do live in my code are reflected inside of this Erlang node. Right now, we have all the functions of my module available in this console. So if I run my module, hello, it will return hello Sublime Earl. Now, if I go back to my code and I modify the function hello to add a comma, I would obviously need to change my task for this to pass. But I save the file and I bring back the terminal. We can see that this module has been reloaded correctly by the loader. And if I run the function my module hello again, it actually prints out the changes that we just did. This concludes this brief introduction on Sublime Earl, which is available on GitHub under the BSD license. As usual, comments, feedback, opinions, patches, whatever, are welcome. Thank you.